Hello little buns, it is Steph, welcome back to my home. In order to continue my trans education series here on YouTube, I wanted to ask some people, namely my Twitter followers, what some frequently asked questions they thought people would have for trans people. One such Twitter user, Twitter user McKenna Johnson 5 asked me, what were some things that really helped you realize you were trans rather than more feminine than people expected for your assigned gender? This question really lines up with the other question of how did you know you were trans? What was the moment you realized you were trans and I want to shed some light on the entire process of discovering how one is transgender. Of course, everybody is going to have a different experience, but across the board, pretty much every trans person that I've spoken to has told me that there was not a single moment where they realized that they were trans or that they wanted to transition. It was kind of a buildup of a lifetime of events and a lifetime of feelings that just made sense when it was put into the context of being trans. Before I tell you kind of the retroactive things that made me realize I was trans, I should probably tell you what made me start questioning my gender. Again, there wasn't a specific moment where I was like, is this a thing? It was more like over time after I had been exposed to trans people and realized that they existed. It wasn't that I was exposed to them and caught the trans virus, did not become a trans from the virus, okay? It was like being exposed to these people and realizing that they were happier doing this and that this was the right thing for their mind, for their mental health, made me think of, you know, maybe that's what's off in my mind, right? So first of all, having the representation of trans people in media allowed me to realize that I wasn't just perpetually miserable, there was something that I could do to fix it. I don't think anybody just starts questioning their gender out of boredom. It's usually out of a misery or a confusion or a weight on their mind. Nobody just decides to wake up and is like, I wonder if I'm a girl. Like, it's not like that. It's a very long internal process. Process. I feel like it's almost an instinctual thing which has recently been brought to my attention because when I look at my childhood memories There was a very specific thing that made me like okay Of course I should have known this earlier, but I didn't have anything to base this off of so I wouldn't have thought about it And that is in phys ed or in, in class in general as a child in elementary public school the, the teacher would often separate the students into groups based on gender So boys on this side girls on this side and I never ever ever wanted to go to the boys side I was like that doesn't feel right at the time. I thought it was because I didn't have many male friends, but that just didn't make sense to me either because it's not like I didn't want to work with them on projects. It was I didn't want to be on the boys side of the room. It just felt very incorrect to me as a child before I even knew trans people existed, before I knew gay people existed. I wasn't even exposed to the fabric softeners, okay? It was instinctual to me. It was instant. It was like, that isn't correct. What really made me realize I wanted to transition though was a little bit larger than that. I've always known I wanted children, but the title of father and dad never felt correct to me either. And it's not that I have an issue with dads. My father was wonderful. It's that I knew I, that's not what I was going to be. It just did not sit right. It was uncomfortable and it felt incorrect. It felt wrong to think about. And then I realized that it's because I wanted to be a mother. And I was like, well, I can do that. And so I did. And I'm not saying that wanting to be a mother was the only reason I transitioned, but it certainly helped lead me towards a healthier life, a, a, a healthier mind. I have a much better mental health now that I've been transitioning and problems and solutions are more apparent to me because I can see past that mist of something is not correct, right? That mist is gone because now I'm living the way I'm supposed to be. So those little retroactive things, once I started questioning my gender, were really what made me realize that this was what I needed to do. There was never a moment after I started transitioning, after I made the appointments for the hormones, nothing after that told me that this was maybe not right. When I started questioning and before I started medically transitioning, I definitely was like, mm, I'm gonna take this slowly because I don't know. And that's why I didn't tell people for the longest time. But once I actually started taking the steps and I realized how much happier I felt and how much more awake I felt, there's no comparison to how I felt before and how I feel now. There's nothing similar. I still have problems, I still have some mental health issues, but nothing compared to what it was like before. It's very different. It's more controllable, it's more understandable. I know how to deal with it now, it's different. So if you are questioning your gender or if you know somebody that you feel maybe is questioning their gender. First of all, I would say don't ask them questions unless they bring it up. Like, don't go up to them and be like, hey, are you a trans? Which, by the way, is incorrect. I'm just saying that to be funny. It's, are you trans? Okay, thank you. Do not force them to out themselves. Do not force them to have that conversation, but make them aware that you are their friend and that you are there to listen to them or you will help them or support them in any circumstances. And if you are questioning your gender, just maybe take a look back at your childhood, take a look backwards in your life and see if there's things that make sense in a context of being trans. Like for me with the whole boys and girls thing. There was also, when I, when I started hitting puberty and gym class, you 
started having to change because people sweated when they started doing puberty, right? I immediately stopped participating in gym class because I did not want to change in the boys' changing room. And I didn't think I wanted to change in the girls' room either, but I definitely knew that I was not supposed to be in that boys' changing room. And I think that's pretty significant. So look for things like that backwards. And if you don't have those, it doesn't mean that you're not trans. Um, because again, everybody's experience is very different, but if your experience is like mine, that might help guide you towards the right decisions and the right solutions. As long as you are being yourself and listening to your own mind and your own little beautiful heart, you will find out what the best thing is for you. The most important thing to keep in mind is that it is very base. It's a very base human thing. It's not complicated. If you feel like a woman, you are. It's, it's, there's nothing beyond that. It's, you don't have to go through all these psychological tests like they require you to do in the United States. That's so unnecessary because we know ourselves. It's not difficult once you unlock the, the, the window. Once you realize that there's a portal into that part of your brain, it's not as hard as it was before. So as long as you are trying to attune with your yourself and listen to what you need subconsciously, which sounds complicated, but listen, it's very, it's fine. You'll get it. Then you will figure this out. I promise. I hope this has been helpful. If you found this, you know, useful for your own, you know, introspective reflection, or if you think you might help somebody else, please share this video. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you again very soon. I love you so much. Bye. So um, I get a lot of questions about HRT, right? That's why I do my hormone update videos. What HRT is? What is it? That's what I get. What is, what is HRT? You know, what is it? And it's not usually from